like I said, it's one of the most protected waves from that onshore breeze that we get in the mainland. And obviously it's super rippable. And usually when you think of Puerto Escondido being probably today around the 10 foot Hawaiian range, here it's much more fun. You can use your shortboards. Well, using his shortboard to full effect right now, Seth Moniz is on a roll. You can just see the momentum he's carried from that first wave, which was a 667. This one building up nicely through this inside section. Expect fireworks if Seth Moniz finds a ramp. He's just doing the work down the line, not wasting any time, but not making it look forced. Yeah, he's, he's trying, Joe. I like it. <laughs> and uh, Theo, Uncle, Uncle Kaipo's making it run for him. Uh, great call for Jesse. It's going to be a big action-packed day, even in tomorrow and the next day. As Jesse's saying, she's loving the look of the swell we have as we see Kanoa Garashi opening up on his first wave. Pedersen score dropped in at a 6.0. Amber Cadena, the 4.5. Those are the early comparisons in the morning light. Top turn car for Igarashi. Clean snap there. The silver medalists in Tokyo kicks out. Uh, you know, I I just need a, like a bib or something. I got <laughs> Kanoa Garashi sets up his second scoring ride. Two amazing turns, a lot of variety, extra smooth, and this wave is just continuing to allow him to coil up off the bottom, attack the lip, beautiful carving work as well, and there is a beautiful flow to finish for world number six. Dangerous early in the morning for Japan's Kanoa Igarashi. He's flying potentially right into the lead without a, everything look perfect. Driving down the line is Pedersen. Big section, tail high, reverse. Right out of the gates. He had the 4.9 on the slob. Wrapping cut back straight up vertical. Talk about a great combination of moves. Wraps it again, Crisanto blowing the tail out. Driving, big tail release on that carve as well. Snaps it shut, and what an answer to Igarashi. The waves are flawless this morning. Kanoa score still coming in. Crisanto right behind him. There was really nothing there. He tried, he did his best. As we see a beautiful oh! late drop. Well, although I was wrong on that previous wave, I was right about that. Seth Moniz will find the two. So far, hammering this wave getting the late drop right into the pit and goes straight to work. Fourth turn. Moniz now on a tear. Finds a beautiful open face to work with, still building speed, gaining momentum for this inside section. Can he find another? Goes up with a stylish floater, comes down clean, wow. Seth Moniz. No doubt into the excellent range with that wave. That was 